Do not blowtorch like that with your hand. You have to use something else to hold this stuff. What's up guys, it's your boy Alan again, back with another video. And today, we're gonna watch some more Tipsy Bartender. But before we start, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And uh, let's go check this out. Is this going inside the drink? Yeah, homeboy, all this is flavoring. Okay. First, making a mess. Is this green apple vodka? It's actually green, this one, but most of the ones that the store sells are gonna be white, so don't think that you need a green, green apple, okay? It's food coloring. Why does it matter what color the apple flavor is? Okay, you come behind that with Smirnoff ice cream apple. And you're putting the same flavors over and over again. You just put green apple vodka, and now you're putting green apple Smirnoff ice? Why? You don't have to use Smirnoff ice, but this drink was originally... And that's a twist off. You don't need a bottle cap opener. All right. Now, once that's done like that, I'm coming back with a little bit more fruits, you know? Stop making a mess. Also, why are you putting more fruit on top? It's the same fruit. A little bit of candy, okay? You want some... And it's a tipsy bartender, so of course it's gonna be candy. Now, you're thinking it's just gummies. No, sir. Because what we have here, we have a rainbow belt. An airhead rainbow belt. More candy. Check. And we just stick that down in there like that. Bang. Okay, then I got another belt, rainbow. More candy, check. Of the candy, trust me. Candy and the fruits. We're gonna make a mess. Get some of that in there like that, oh yeah. And then you can grab another little belt if you want, right? Dude, so this is almost entirely made of candy. There's only green apple vodka in there, and then ice, and then the fruit. Evening. Let's get one more out there, okay? So my boy ain't lonely, look at that. And there you have it! The That's it? That's... It's just smeared off ice and green apple vodka. Just more candy here than actual liquid. Smirnoff Preparata Goblets, fresh out of Texas, enjoy! And how are you supposed to drink that? There's no straw, and there's no space to put your face because the bottle's in the way. Now I have to preserve these bad boys, so I'm gonna hit them with a little bit of fireball. Keep that fire burning in my soul. Dude, if you're gonna pour so much, take out the pour spout. The purpose of the pour spout is to control the flow, and you're not supposed to use a pour spout if you intend to pour more than two ounces. Caramel vodka, okay? Caramel, all right? Guys, it's festive. You need a little bit of caramel in you. And why is he swirling like that? There's no point. It's not gonna make it come out faster. We got Gochilago home, boy. This, also this is sparkling apple cider. Sparkling cider. This one non-alcoholic. Oh yeah. This is what happens when you don't refrigerate it. Look, all the carbonation is being lost right there. Oh yeah. Save some space for stuff that I gotta add. Okay, you let the bubbles come up to the top, right? You mean like ice? Please tell me that you're gonna add ice to this. I'm gonna add some Moscato in there, okay? A little bit of wine, all right? This Dude, is you have the Goldschlager, the Fireball, and now the Moscato. No citrus to counteract the sugar. This thing is gonna be so sweet. It's gonna be a sangria. Or sangria-ish. Look at those bubbles, okay? All and of course, there's no room for ice. Another warm punch by the tipsy bartender. Are you kidding me? Bubbles from that sparkling. Dude, you're filling up too high. It's gonna spill over when you try to pour it. That sparkling cider. Now you little poke around like so, right? Of course, he's making a mess! Couple cinnamon sticks, you see? This add even more cinnamon flavor to this part. How are you gonna pour this? It's already above the pitcher. Stuff is gonna fall around and the liquid is gonna come out and make a mess. The sparkling apple cider sangria! Delicious, fun, festive, refreshing, all those. And warm and sweet. Drive and enjoy, okay? Keep it cute. Guys, make sure your finger's clean before you put your finger in the- You are not supposed to pick the fruit out when you're doing a sangria. This is so unsanitary. Drink, okay? <clears throat> little pour, little pour, little pour. And don't grab the rim of the glass because that's where people's mouths go to. Come on, come on. Tell me that don't look delicious. You know you want some. Just no ice, it's warm. This is firm, guys. This is solid. This is solid. Look at this. Look at this. This is solid. 
You can't, this is not sanitary. You're expecting people to eat this thing, but you're also putting it on dirty surfaces. <laughs> Dude, do not blow torch like that with your hand. You have to use something else to hold this stuff. Marshmallow goodness. Okay, we put them down like so, right? Yes, put it down on a dirty surface. Ice cream. Oh boy, this tipsy bartender, you know alcohol was involved somehow. I whip. That is a lot of Baileys. Ice cream. More calories? Check. Why are you putting the whipped cream so deep, homeboy? Because, you see, we got this coming in. Dude. You better hope that you don't crush the cup. That chocolate is very thin. But now we also have brown cracker crumbs, right? So we break it like that. And then we just go, mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, it's a tipsy bartender, so of course it's gonna make a mess! It's a dessert drink, okay? Because someone goes, oh my god, so much sugar! It's chocolate, huh? Shut up, okay? Actually, guys who complain the most are the dudes who are less in shape, okay? <laughs> How are you supposed to drink that? So let's start off with a little bit of tequila, okay? A little touch of tequila, just to wet the soul. There you go, this is a big bowl, so you gotta go solid, okay? You if you're gonna pour that much, just take the pour spout out. The pour spout's purpose is to limit the flow rate and it's not meant to pour more than two ounces. Now we're coming behind now with some vodka. Pink lemonade, okay? So we get pink lemonade vodka in here. So you see she began- Yeah, you should be holding a bottle like that. There's no point. It's gonna slow down the flow even more. You should always be pouring it straight down. How about a little bit of peach lemonade vodka, okay? This is have more of an orange. Why is he pouring like that? It's going out so slow. Oh yeah, look at that. Pink lemonade. Okay, so here we go. Why are you putting pink lemonade? You already put the pink Whitney in there, which is pink lemonade vodka. The smartest in my class. <laughs> okay, one, two. Of course, he's gonna make a mess. The line sliced down the side there. How'd it look? And there you have it, the pink. No straw? How are you supposed to drink this? You have three bottles that are blocking your way. Necessarily need to be pink lemonade, but homeboy, oh something about pink that's just damn beautiful to me. <laughs> okay, and what is he how are you supposed to hold this? How are you supposed to balance it? Any of those bottles could fall out. This drink is nerve-wracking because as you walk around, you can feel like the bottles are gonna fall out, okay? So this and is for one person? There's three smeared off ices, you have tequila. And vodka. You're gonna overserve somebody with this drink. That kind of messes up your little buzz, okay? But it keeps you focused. You see what I'm saying? I'm focused right now, okay? I can't be buzzed because I need to focus, make sure my bottles don't break. So buzz. why you drink this if you're gonna have trouble holding it? Don't drink and drive, stay tipsy. By the way, if you look at that, that rim look a little different. You know why? Because that's not salt, that's sugar, even though this is a margarita. Oh my god, of course, it's a tipsy bartender. So, of course, it's sugar instead of salt. Because, of course, this drink isn't sweet enough. Hey, if you enjoyed that, don't forget to check out these other videos as well. And please leave on the comment section on what videos I should react to next. And if you haven't done so already, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys on the next one.